Hey guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video I'll be talking about everything I've read in June. Now June seemed like a super long month for me and I've read quite a few books so let's just get right to them. The first book that I've read was Nature by Rolf Waldo Emerson. I've already talked about this book in my Reading Like Nam June video. So if you want to check that video out, I talked about it more in detail because it was very fresh in my mind. I actually have enjoyed the book, although I've had a hard time understanding the writing and all the metaphors and all the meanings, but I feel like even a native English speaker would have troubles with that, so I didn't feel too bad about it. I've rated it like three stars. Then I finally have finished The Way of Kings, both parts by Brandon Sanderson. I absolutely loved this book. I already talked about it in my mid-year book freakout. This was my favorite book of the year so far. That's how much I loved it. This is a high fantasy with an enormous amount of world building. That's what I love about Brandon Sanderson's books in general. And I loved everything about this book. The characters, the magic system, the world building, the character development and the plot twists and I just seriously love this book and I started it back in January, which is quite a long time um, that I think about it. And I have yet to edit my vlog that I filmed in the span of the six months. So stay tuned for that. It will be coming probably in like next week or the week after that. Then I read Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. And I really didn't like this book when I first read it. Although I said in the video, because I've read this for the Year Reading Like Namjoon video, that there were some redeemable qualities. However, it's been almost a month since then, and the more I think about this book, the more I hate it. I just see absolutely nothing good about this book now. Like, especially the characters in it. I feel like that some of the characters were a total joke and... I remember reading this and thinking like, has Haruki Murakami ever talked to a real woman before? Or like, what what's going on here, you know? Um, especially the female characters, they lacked depth and they were acting like, I think I even said in the video, like reading like Namjoon, that they talked like actresses in a really awful 18 plus movie with awful script. Yeah, I really don't understand why people like this book. And I guess my opinion is a little bit unpopular and, you know, that's okay. We all have different opinions on, on books. But if you seriously love this book, hmm. I've also read book one of 1Q84 and I haven't really progressed since then. I do want to read more, but every time I pick this book up, I just have this really weird icky feeling and I don't really want to continue the book now. It has like... 1200 pages so i don't know if i want to really push myself to read it because so far i've read about like 450 pages this is a magical realism it deals with cults and just i feel like the whole atmosphere of this book is just so wrong but not in a good way i think i already talked about this in the video that i already mentioned twice now the male main character is um a little bit questionable sometimes that's all i'm gonna say although i ended up liking this more than norwegian wood but we'll see once i'll actually finish this if i will ever finish it then i've read this really short letter by a greek philosopher named epicurus and the letter is called on happiness and i think it's only like nine pages I did like it, but it wasn't anything memorable. As, I mean, obviously it's just nine pages, so that makes sense. But it was short and sweet and I liked it. I think I gave it like four stars. Then I've listened to The Secrets of Dunhaven Castle by Nelly H. Steele. And I hated this book so much. Um, this is a cozy mystery about a woman that has inherited a castle and she goes to the castle and just weird stuff start to happen. You get about, and by the way, I've noted this down when I was listening to the book, 
31% before the main character actually enters the castle and 40% until some weird stuff start to happen. And it was just so boring. Every chapter is repetitive. The main character would always wake up, uh, walk her dog, have breakfast, walk her dog, have lunch, walk her dog, have dinner, maybe something weird would happen, walk her dog. Like, I, at some point, I had to listen to this book on three times the speed, and it was only because this was part of my storygraph genre challenge for Cozy Mystery. I don't think I would have finished it otherwise if it wasn't for that challenge. I like when main characters have dogs or like other pets and they talk to them and they take care of them, but we don't need to know a thousand times that the main character walked her dog. The plot twist or the explanation of what actually is happening is so obvious and predictable that it wasn't rewarding at all and I really didn't like this book. I gave it one star and I think it was my least favorite book of that month. All the books I'm about to mention are actually part of the reading challenge that I just talked about on Storygraph. So I've listened to Sorted by Jackson Bird. This is a transgender memoir and it was quite interesting to hear thoughts of a transgender person since I've never met one and all my knowledge is just from the internet and random TikToks which might not always be the best source of information. Um, I really like this book. I think I gave it like 3.5 stars. Then I listened to The Socrates Express by Eric Weiner and I really loved this book. Um, it has different essays on different philosophers. Some might not even be classically categorized as philosophers, but this book was so interesting and it helped me to get more into philosophy and kind of seeing what I like, what I didn't like, where should I continue my reading if I want to learn more about it, and I gave it four 5 stars. And then I've read Oslo by JT Rogers as an ebook. This is a play about the Oslo negotiations in the 90s between Israel and Palestine and I really enjoyed reading this play. I know that now there is a movie that you can watch on HBO Max um, that in my opinion might be a little bit too long but it's also just as funny and sarcastic and awkward in a way just as the original play. I'm pretty sure this play has won a Tony Award and I would really recommend it. I give it four stars. Hi, this is Editing Kayla here. I forgot to talk about two books because I forgot to list them on my Goodreads. The first book is These Bones Will Rise Again by Panache Chigumatsi and this is a memoir with some Zimbabwean history. I really enjoyed this book. It was very informative, especially if you know nothing about the country of Zimbabwe. And then I've listened to Diamond Doris, the true story of the world's most notorious jewel thief by Doris Payne. And this is a memoir of, well, a jewel thief and what she did. And it reads really nicely. It's very easy to read, I would say. But at the same time, I noticed that certain events were a bit polished. She even says at the end that some parts might have been fiction and so for that reason I only gave it three stars. But other than that I really enjoyed it and I've enjoyed this outlook on someone that has made stealing her career. Okay so that's it for today's video. That's my June wrap-up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.